Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss one-to-one -one functions and their inverses. Let's go ahead and do an example. The question is to find the inverse of f of x equals 2x over x minus 3. Let's work through it very carefully. Solution. The first step when finding the inverse of a function is to replace your function f of x with the variable y. So instead of f of x, I'm going to write y. And this is equal to 2x over and then x minus 3. The second step when you're looking for the inverse of a function is to interchange your x and y. So whenever you see a y, you put an x. So we have x equals. And wherever you see x's, you put y's. So this is 2y over and then y minus 3. Again, the first step, you just replace your f of x with y. And the second step, you switch your x and y. The third step is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Third step, we actually have to solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and write down our equation again. So we have x equals 2y over, and then we have y minus 3. And so we're looking for y, and we have a 2y in the numerator and a y minus 3 in the denominator. So we need to get rid of this y minus 3 in the denominator. What we can do is we can multiply both sides by y minus 3. And then over here, we also have y minus 3. On the right-hand side, these cancel, so they're gone. And on the left-hand side, we can distribute the x. So we get y times x, then minus, and then 3 times x. And that's equal to 2y. At this point, we want to get all of the y's together on one side by themselves, because we have yx minus 3x equals 2y. So if we can get all the y's together on one side by themselves, we can factor out the y. So I'm going to do it in one move because I feel like it's a little bit easier maybe. So if we have yx and we subtract 2y, we get, well, I'll do it in two steps. <laughs> so let me just do it in two just in case. So you get yx minus 2y minus 3x equals 0. And you can probably tell what I really want to do with this 3x is I want to add it to the other side. So plus 3x plus 3x cancel, so you end up with yx minus 2y equals 3x. And at this point, uh, we can factor out that y, right, which, which is what we're looking for. So we have y parentheses, and then here it's just going to be x minus 2. And you should always mentally check y times x is y times x, y times negative 2 is negative 2y. And then here we have 3x. And again, we're looking for y. It's being multiplied by all of this, by x minus 2. So to undo that, we do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we divide both sides by x minus 2, divide by x minus 2. I come up here. And so we get y equals 3x over, and then we have x minus 2. And we're almost done. Um, the last step, which I think is kind of a big deal, it's kind of important, is to actually write it using the correct notation. So the correct notation for the inverse is f, and it has a little negative one here. It looks like an exponent, but it's not. So it's read f inverse of x. That's how you read it. f inverse of x, and that's equal to 3x over x minus 2. And that would be the inverse of our function, right? So let's just over the steps really quickly again so to make sure you got it because this is the procedure for finding the inverse of a function in general this will lead you down the right path it will allow, it'll allow you to do lots of problems so the first step is to call your f of x y which we did so we did that here in step one step two we switched our x and y so that part's pretty easy and these first two steps steps are really simple right how difficult the problem is will not affect these first two steps because it's pretty easy the difficulty level really depends on the third part, where you actually have to solve uh, this equation, x equals 2y over y minus 3 for y. So I wrote it again here. We multiplied by y minus 3, so it canceled on the right-hand side. We distributed, and then we got here. Let me show you where we got. We got here, yx minus 3x equals 2y. And so normally what I do, uh, if I'm doing this, is basically I'll subtract the 2y, 
we have yx minus 2y, and then add the 3x. So basically, I skip all of, well, skip, skip all of two steps, right? Two steps. So two steps really become one. Factor 2y, add 3x. And then you factor out the y, and then divide by x minus 2. And then at the very end, just use the correct notation, f inverse of x equals 3x over x minus 2. So yeah, hopefully after watching this video, you feel like you've learned some math. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos on Chag. Good luck.